are you doing, fam? I hope you are good. So, I quickly want to talk about this post that I saw on Diary of a Ninja Girl. How many of you follow Diary of a Ninja Girl on Instagram? If you don't, I would advise that you do so. I, I shall love, I love her page. I love the quality and caliber of people that are on her Instagram page. The people that, her community on Instagram. I just love the breed of people that are there. You know how it is with Instagram pages. You go to this page, you see a different breed of people from their comments you have nothing to learn from their comments like i'm talking about other pages who you have nothing to learn from such comments and they all keep tearing each other down and everything on diary of a ninja girl i've actually learned a lot not that i agree with everything i read there you know is a case of saving the wheat from the chaff yeah so that's what it is but most of the time i love her content i love the quality of people that are there i like to read every comments as much as i can read and glean what i can glean from those comments so now uh i saw a post that she made a few days ago somebody sent her a mail apologizing to her as in the person sent her the mail out of guilt saying that she pushed her cousin that's the sender of the mail pushed her cousin into committing suicide because she kept on body shaming her so from what she said she her cousin was on the big side her cousin was plus sized and she would not let her cousin be she kept on talking to her about her weight kept on picking on her about her weight and she said she she just kept doing it not even caring how her cousin felt and she knew it was getting to her cousin because she said that at a point her cousin would buy clothes that were about two sizes small and try to squeeze herself into them and instead of that to make her stop she kept on talking to her body shaming this lady until her cousin was pushed to commit suicide and then she wrote an email to Ife. Ife is diary of a ninja girl so she wrote an email to her out of guilt apologizing and be what was she even saying that she feels so bad knowing that she contributed she was the, she was the main cause of her cousin's death because if she wasn't body shaming her cousin her cousin will still be alive to this day see eh it's true that some comments there were trying to be kind with their words and everything it was a case of not kicking somebody when the person is down I did not feel, you see, one atom of pity. I did not feel for that poster. Because it's not as if she did not know better. This poster, you know, you know better. You follow Ife, you follow Diary of a Niger, Niger Girl. So you know how, you know where we stand. The people on that page, you, in that community, you know where we stand on matters like this. You know we, we stand for not tearing women down. Women, supporting women and all that. And you... We are body shaming, she was body shaming her cousin to the extent that her cousin now committed suicide. So my essence of making this video is to talk to you people, you body shamers that are here. If you're a body shamer, if you're one of those people that keep on talking to people about their weights, when you see somebody after a long while, you've not seen somebody for a long time. And when you see the person, the first thing that comes out of your mouth is, ah, you have added weight though. Ah, take it easy on the food though. Ah, sha, 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 sha. Ah, and bear in mind that body shaming goes both ways it's not only about people that are plus size they also body shame skinny people i was a victim of that i used to be very skinny as a teenager i used to be painfully thin as a teenager and it affected my esteem i had esteem issues because people were making sight of people were talking to me about they were shaming me about my body then so now this one your cousin and then she now mentioned i forgot to mention that she said in her meal that her cousin was more brilliant than she was so it now made us feel like it was a matter of jealousy because i was wondering you saw that your cousin was not taking your 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 jabs at her very well and you kept on doing it you did not stop it was a matter of jealousy she was aware she knew all these things she knew that she was hurting her cousin but jealousy did not allow her to see road jealousy did not allow her to think straight and then she pushed her cousin to her death she you don't you don't you don't go ab around talking to people about their weight you don't go around body shaming people you don't know what they are going through you don't know what they have been trying you don't know how hard they have been trying to lose weight even though some of them 
will come out and say things like as in and say things like that confidence uh, but my i love my body and all that they you don't know if it's a defense mechanism they just what do you expect them to say they will say that but i tell you that deep down they are struggling they are struggling with their weights even me that sometimes when i add weights like i am now i'm bigger than i used to be at least even before i gave it to my baby i was i was a lot slimmer than this i've been struggling with losing weight to getting back to my pre-baby weights and sometimes it gets me really down so people have feelings I keep saying we need to be nice with our words. If you know that you would not like it if something is said to you, don't say it to somebody else. Think about it. Stop and think before you say that thing you want to say. Stop and think. Would you like it if it's been said to you? Would you like it if it's been done to you? If you cannot stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Why would you say things to somebody that you would not like if it's been said to you? Hmm? I remember years ago when i was a teenager so i was walking i don't know where i was going to shop but i was shop walking on our streets and then there were some students from secondary school younger than me walking behind me boys and girls and then i had one comment from one of them this boy said god this girl is thin that was how he said it and eh, at that moment i couldn't even turn around to see who said it I was just walking, but I felt like the ground should open, let me fall inside. I was already struggling with esteem issues, and then this guy now said this thing. Till today, I do not know who said it. I did not see his face, but I can't forget it. The, it it's as in, wherever he is now, he cannot even remember what he said back then, but his words hurt badly, and I have never forgotten them till this day. Just for you to know that your words are hurtful. You body shamers that body shame people, your words are hurtful. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. If you would not like it, put yourself in people's shoes. I always say that I think that the world would be a better place if only we can learn to put ourselves in people's shoes. Like I said, if you would not like it, if it is said to you, or if you would not like it, if it is done to you, don't do it to another person and the world will be a better place. Don't go around body shaming people, talking to people about their weight. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not right. You don't know how that person has been struggling. See how this lady committed suicide. And the other one is feeling guilty, looking for pity up and down. And I'm happy that it's true that some people were trying to be nice with their words, but some people tore hard now. Some people ate as an, oh, they dealt with her with their words. After that, then you're now coming to cry over spilled milk, looking for pity. When your cousin has died and she has gone. Well, I'm hoping that she would learn from that experience. And I, of course she would learn from it because never again will she body shame anybody. But what about others that are still body shaming people up and down? And even some people, even after reading that post, will keep on body shaming other people. Why? So, the reason why, because normally I wouldn't make this video, but... I thought about it after I saw that post some days ago, but this morning I was like, you know what? Because most of, most of the times I get my ideas when, when taking a shower. And I don't know why that happens. I know it happens to a lot of you. People say it. They get their best ideas in the shower. It just occurred to me that I should film this video. I should talk about this because it has to stop. It has to stop. Be nice. It doesn't take anything away from you to be kind to people be kind with your attitude be kind with your words you don't know what somebody else is going through you don't know how your words would lift somebody up or change that person's day the other day that i went to ralph's to buy um groceries the lady packing the my items her dreads, she had dreads, her own, had, her own dreads, her natural hair, and it was really long and nice. And then, because I liked it, I, I just got, I complimented her when she finished packing and I was about to leave. I said, I, li I love your hair. And she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. As in, she was so happy. Her face brightened instantly. Because while she was even packing, while she was standing there and packing, her face wasn't that bright. But one, when I said that to her, I noticed that her face lit up, like her mood changed. It will not take anything from you to be kind to people. Another thing that women don't do, I don't know why women don't do this thing. Why don't we like to compliment each other? 
It will not take anything from you to compliment each other. If you like what somebody is wearing, tell her you like her attire. That my signature gown, I wore it out yesterday when my kids were playing around and our neighbor saw me and was like, oh my God, your gown is beautiful. That old, in this, that old gown, no, that, that signature white gown, you know that gown and that long, I wore it in one of my vlogs. Yeah, so somebody complimented me that another one now complimented me yesterday. So we, we women, especially in Africa, why don't we like to compliment each other? Compliment each other. Say, if you like somebody, say, tell her you like her hair. If you like her complexion, tell her you like her complexion. If you like her makeup, tell her you like her makeup. And you say, when they compliment you, don't go and start saying, oh, is it this old dress? Or, oh, this makeup that I did rush, rush. Accept the compliments. We don't, I don't know why most people find it. Is it uncomfortable for you? I don't know. When they say, when they compliment you, say thank you. Don't go and start looking for a way to downplay or put down the, I don't even know how to say it, but I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm digressing from the main point of this video, which is to talk to body shamers that you should stop doing it. Stop doing it. It is not nice. It is not good. You don't know how that person you're talking to will take it. Some of them will not even be bold enough to tell you that they don't like it. Some of them are already struggling with esteem issues and confidence, confidence issues, and they will not be able to say anything, but it will be eating them up inside eating them up inside i remember when it doesn't even have to do not only body shaming as per weight issues even appearance the way somebody looks and all you don't make fun of people you don't talk down on people i remember fari by sisiokwe i watched one of her videos where she talked about you know she's ss so she talked about um her experience as a sickler she talked about how you know they have yellow eyes one guy was now talking to she was standing with somebody another guy came to talk to the person to them to talk to them and was talking to the person she was with asking the person why are her eyes yellow the person you're talking to was standing right there i don't know why people are taxless as in you don't you don't you just talk without thinking like i said would you like it if it is being done to you if you know you will not like it if it is done to you do not do it to other people okay okay i'm done no no i'm done talking that is all i came to say stop body shaming people be kind with your words be kind with your attitude it will not remove from your life it would add to your life and even add to the person you're complimenting compliment people too okay all right so thank you so much for watching if you've watched up to this point as always if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button down there and i would appreciate it if you do so and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell another thing i hey do you people know that i'm on instagram didn't you aware ha huh. no wonder people don't need to come and follow me on instagram i'm on instagram mo. look at my name up here nazo easy that is my name nazo dot easy on instagram follow me on instagram guys if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button. It's very important. It is very important. It means a lot to me. And then subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.